On behalf of John and Amy, welcome and thank you all for being here. We are gathered here today to bear witness and support this joyous and sacred occasion. In their devotion, respect, and love for each other, John and Amy wish to unite in the holy bond of marriage and dedicate themselves to each other's life journey and well-being. the game of softball. But here's a little secret. When she was little, she absolutely refused to play softball. Instead, she wanted to be a cheerleader and sing in the choir. But fortunately for John, she changed her mind because the game of softball is what brought Amy and John together. A true marriage is an act of transformation, a profound mystery of creation and rebirth as two lives are blended into one. This is not a loss or giving up of oneself, but rather a giving over of self to something greater. On the road again, like we're leaving with the wind off the coast of Carolina, caught smiling in the mirror. We hold out for tomorrow, swimming deepest rivers, giving then we borrow. Everyone's a winner. Things are looking up. I am so proud of you, my friend. We've been through a lot. All right, listen. <laughs> compromise, compromise, compromise. If Amy wants you to do something, just <laughs> shut the hell up and do it. John's the guy running into fires, and in life you're gonna have, and in marriage, you're certainly gonna have many fires in your life. So let's raise a toast to the guy who's running in and his beautiful wife. Even in this strange world we are living in, this is a time to rejoice in what is most sacred in humanity, and that is the love we have for one another. It is deeply rooted in life and human existence. It truly is love that lights the whole world, and one of the most rewarding and challenging adventures in life is to come together in marriage. Amy, as a man that is usually never short on words, you leave me speechless every day. You never cease to amaze me from the hard work and your loving personality. You make me want to be the best version of myself, just so I can try to be on the level you reach effortlessly every day. There's nothing, and I mean nothing, that I would not do for you. I mean, let's be honest. 
I let a giant man chase me around a truck for you. <laughs> Amy, I cannot wait to start this new journey with you. I love you forever, babe. John, we can finally say we made it. After planning, panicking, mostly on my part, postponing and then replanning, we have officially made it to the big day. And that alone is something to celebrate. From the very beginning of our relationship, it was easy to see how amazing you are. You're the most selfless person I know. You have this way of always putting everyone else first, never asking for or expecting anything in return. You were a hit with the family instantaneously. You found out relatively quickly that family is everything to me. Up until this very moment, this year sucked. It was just one blow after another and it felt like my entire world was just crumbling around me. It's a very devastating feeling when you can't right the wrong that's happening to the people that you love. And you know my solution to most problems is to just fight somebody. <laughs> but somehow, some way, you managed to pick me up on my bad days and physically carry me until I could stand on my own again. You've been my solid foundation through immeasurable heartache and loss. I'll never be able to thank you for the physical, mental, and emotional support that you've given me. But I'll spend the rest of my life showing you how much you are appreciated and adored. I can't remember what life was like before you, but I am positive that I never want to know life without you. I vow to laugh with you and to cry with you. I promise to celebrate your successes and mourn your failures as if they were my very own. I vow to stay silly, to never take ourselves too seriously, and to stay just immature enough for Capri Suns and Fruit Snacks. <laughs> I promise you that we will always be a team. So with that being said, I also promise to never keep score, even when I'm clearly winning. <laughs> Take care of my baby. Oh, there you will. I promise that we will thrive when times are good, and when they're not, we'll find a way and figure it out together. I vow to love you wholeheartedly and unconditionally through all of our adventures. It is my honor and privilege as an ordained minister to pronounce you husband and wife. John, you may kiss your beautiful bride.
My friend, pick and choose your battles. It is scientifically proven, even if Amy is wrong, she is right. She's one of my friend. Her money is her money. Your money is her money. The quicker you get it, the easier it's gonna be, my friend. There's a few things that John uh, that make him special. He's one of the most loyal guys you could possibly ask for. He is always thinks of others first, and he's always willing to lend a helping hand. And I think if you're looking for a partner in life, um, to be a dad, a wife, a husband, you can't ask for better things than those traits. together far better than either of us could have ever imagined alone. You are my best version of life, my truest soulmate, my greatest love, my undeniable hero, and my only happily ever after. I fell in love with you four years ago. I love you now, and I'll love you for as long as I'm breathing. <laughs> She's just supposed to start dancing now, I guess. You guys are going to really remember your wedding yeah. day.